I'm Karen McLean. I'm a gynecologic oncologist at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. Cervical cancer is generally diagnosed following biopsies of the cervix and then usually some sort of additional, what we call an excisional procedure, where a portion of the cervix is removed to determine how much cancer is there. In cervical cancer, if someone has really early disease that's only confined to the cervix, sometimes we can just remove that disease and they can keep their uterus and their tubes and ovaries and therefore preserve their fertility. Unfortunately, there's a subset of women who have spread of their cancer past the cervix at the time they're diagnosed, and then we don't do surgery. The way I think about this for patients is that if, if it's still confined in that spot and we can like cut around it, we can still take it out. But once it's escaped at all, there's no sort of edge that we can cut around and therefore we can't do surgery for those women. In patients who aren't candidates for surgery because of the amount of disease in the cervical area, they get radiation with a low dose of chemotherapy, and that's generally for about six weeks of treatment. If they have cancer spread to far away places like their lungs or their lymph nodes like up in their neck, then those women would start with chemotherapy. Cervical cancer is really an immune-related disease with the HPV or human papillomavirus. And therefore, there's a lot of good scientific rationale for using immune therapies to treat cervical cancer. And Roswell Park is really at the cutting edge of trials looking at approaches such as this. Right now, we have a trial open using uh, lymphocytes that are taken from the patient, sort of charged up to attack the cancer and then given back to the patient to fight their cancer. And we will continue to have trials such as this helpfully to define new treatment approaches. When it comes to cervical cancer, really the most important thing we can do is preventive approaches. And that includes women getting regular gynecologic exams with pap tests and HPV testing, as well as HPV vaccination for primary prevention. And so hopefully with increased uptake of those approaches, what we can do is prevent cervical cancers. So one of the real strengths here at Roswell Park is the integrated approach to patient care, as far as the nurses, the APPs, physicians, and I think Roswell is a really great size in that it offers all of these exceptional treatment options, but it's small enough that there's really clear communication between all of the provider groups. When younger women are thinking about cancer care and their fertility, it is very important that they see specialized experts that really focus on oncofertility so that all of the options are considered before they undergo their cancer care, before they have their surgery or before they start chemotherapy. And Roswell Park has a dedicated treatment group that's uh, specifically for young adults and oncofertility, and that's a real strength here.